that's a month worth of twine right there and now we got to fix we got one bolt broke off here for the three broken tumblers one here right here and that all should be good to go for another month Literally from one piece of equipment to the next. This shaft, we gotta grease this yet, but this hydraulic ram here move, comes through this pin, and this is what drives this whole loading chute. And it broke right away, I can see. So we had to weld it up. With that ground blizzard, we're going to low snow now. Maybe I can launch in there. Hopefully the wind doesn't. We're gonna blow. We're gonna try and blow a little bit of that out. You guys can see it's a straight step into the tractor hood. Oh, I closed my glove in there. Good thing my hand wasn't in my glove yet. We gotta get at that straw. We gotta get at that hay. We gotta get at that hay at the back. Because you can see we only got a few bales down yet. And if we wait, until this gets slushy, trust me, it will be a nightmare. It's got to be like this, so it actually blows. It's a timely thing. So here we go. Put her down. And here we go. Now we can only take a little skiff. We've already blew the shear pin once on this thing. So I gotta just watch what I'm doing. I don't know what you guys can see on the screen. Grunting, 150 horsepower is growling. Put it in reverse, go down with the implement, and here we go for another snort. 
I'm sweating just thinking about how much snow we're moving. But I don't gotta use a snow shovel. Oh, that's a grunt. There she goes. Is that what they call a rooster tail or what? The sun's going down. Air pin number two. This snow is heavy up here. Ooh. Got to shut off the tractor. Turn the PTO shaft. I don't know if I can do this holding on to you guys. Hold on. set to go you know this snow is going to be i think that it's going to be a blessing hopefully we get some of it to run as you guys can see usually it's water right up to here there's a little bit in the middle we need some watering holes filled around here or we're gonna have a problem with cows getting water no matter how much grass we have Don't burst the vessel. I already did. You open that thing. <laughs> What's wrong? Should I try or no? Sometimes you gotta tap sure. on them, the top or something. <laughs> I, th I think I'm the edge to break this. Okay. Oh. Careful. Here, let me try. You're gonna gotta get it first try. Sometimes they're really tight. <laughs> See? Don't smack yourself in the face. Oh. Yeah. Oi. Oh. Okay, fellas. It's snowing. And you got a bit of ruby. Don't you bark at them. The dog's instinct to raise havoc with cattle. Oh, snow drifts. Okay, there you go, guys. Have at her. Some snow drifts we need to move with the tractor and feeders to be filled. Work to be done. It's kind of what happens when a, you go and you play and then... Uh, you gotta catch up when you get back. Right, Ruby? You're just excited to be out of the garage and your dog run. You were in there for two days. Weren't you? Which way are you going? This isn't even fair for you. Okay, let's go this way now. Yep, I think so. Here we go, girl. Hey, here we go, right out this corner. Poor girl. I think this is rough. About it, but it's reality. This cow is an older cow. And she can barely stand. She's dizzy. She's dying. I don't know what she has. But um, we're going to do what's right for her. This is the hardest thing for a rancher. But we have to move on.
people done long ago and she wouldn't have had to suffer. But we tried our best. This last cold snap, I thought she was going to come around. But this last cold snap did her in. I could barely get her up there. I walked her out of the krells. And I uh, I set her, put her down over there where tomorrow we can dispose of her and take her to the bone pile. That's not ideal. That's not our goal as a rancher. If we had to do this every day, we wouldn't be ranching for too long. That right there is an answer to prayer. had the same problem only the strong survive what does that look like in our world right now I just just enlighten you what we have we have a government program going on for feed um, subsidy I think or there's a program for a drought assistance and the thing of it is, is that it's, it, it gets abused. Everything does get abused. And there's been some ranchers that have taken their cattle to the feedlot and claimed the money and the price of hay is really high and then they, sold, they sell their hay. It's not very honest. But then we have some, uh, we got some, ran the ranchers that are honest and some might think that they're weak and they might fall off the small ranchers in this drought and uh, end up having to sell out. But that's not what true survival is. If you gotta sell your cows or you gotta financially find different sources, that's all just temporary on this earth. The strong survive are the ones who are humble and the ones who are honest and the ones that can look Jesus Christ in the eyes on Judgment Day and tell them that they did their best to love their neighbor, to not cheat their neighbor, and to be humble. And those are the ones who will survive. There's a lot of suffering and it takes a lot of strength. But that strength is eternal strength. Thanks for watching today. We went out shed hunting. Really don't walk anywhere. We went to see if the water was running. Don't walk anywhere without a rifle over your shoulder. You never know. But uh, thanks for joining us. Click and subscribe if you like. Have a good day.